You know, whether it's marketing or advertising, uh, pricing strategy, or maybe even just the overall kind of process that people have when they are running their businesses, one of the biggest challenges that, that we see is most businesses simply suffer from sameness. And, and what I mean by suffering from sameness um, is, is if you look at their business, their pricing model, uh, the, their marketing message, their advertising message, even uh, how they actually operate their business, in many cases, uh, what we find is they're about plus or minus 10% of their competitors or, or their industry peers. And, and one of the things that we work on when we're working with a business is, is to, to figure out a way to make it so that they don't appear to be the same as their competitors, so that they stand out and, and are different than their peers. So when it comes to, to people choosing their business or, or choosing their product or service, they actually can tell that there's a difference. You know, if you walk into some of the chain restaurants, I'm not gonna name any names today, but if you walk into to some of these chain restaurants, kind of those middle of the road family type of restaurants, in many cases, if you took the signs off of the businesses or off of their buildings and you took the name of their restaurant off of the menu, in many cases, you wouldn't even know what restaurant you were sitting in because they are all so close uh, in price, in selection, uh, so on and so forth. So, so here at Monarch, one of the things that we did uh, early on was we made a decision to choose as our positioning statement outstanding service and remarkable outcomes. Now those two words, outstanding and remarkable, you know, base value it probably sounds like just another one of those positioning statements or mission statements or something like that, but it's really not. See, the reason that we chose outstanding and remarkable, uh, one is we, we want our, our clients and potential clients to know that that's important to us, but even more importantly, uh, it's, it's really how we communicate inside of our company. We can ask ourselves, is this project outstanding? We can ask ourselves when we're working with a client, will they find this remarkable? And then really quickly, outstanding, if you take that word apart, essentially means does it stand out? So everything that we do here at Monarch Direct is designed to stand out. Now we're not perfect, sometimes we mess up, no doubt about it, but we always have our eye on that goal of how can we stand out in the markets that we serve. On the other side, remarkable, the question that we ask ourselves, now when we say remarkable, it, it's not so that people think we're really cool or anything like that. The, the reality of the word remarkable is we just want to put ourselves in a place where, where people will remark about us. Now sometimes it might be about our service, it might be about our follow-up, it might be about the quality of our, pro or our process or project that we do, but most importantly, our goal is always to stand out and do something or work with the client so they will remark about it, maybe to another person, maybe tell a friend, maybe comment to to uh, one of their industry peers, maybe send us a referral. So, so my message here is look at your business and ask yourself, are you doing plus or minus 10% of most of your competitors and, and your industry peers? Are you kind of looking at what they do and just trying to stay in the middle, which is a really dangerous place? And on the other side, are you doing things for your customers, for your clients, inside of your business, even for the people on your team, your employees, your staff? Are you doing things that they would find outstanding and remarkable? So, so ask yourself, am I standing out? Meaning. Am I outstanding? Is my business outstanding? And two is, will my client or will the people on our team think that this is remarkable? Meaning, will they remark about it? Ideally in a positive way, of course.